Hey friends, Shane from HunterWrench.com and I'm in Vegas and happened to see one of our Hunter Wrench fans and customers here, Jeff. I uh, appreciated working with you for the over the last year. And I thought, how cool would it be to come see your project in person? Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I've been working on this for about a year now. Shane helped me out with the uh, top end rebuild and the carbs. Uh, it's come a long way. You're Just, putting some cool stuff on it. You got the the Moto Gadget ignition. That's gonna be way cool. You're doing some neat stuff. What was yeah. your big like holy shit scare moment right now? I snapped a bolt on the. Well, yeah. Okay. Can you get a good shot right there? Yeah. <clears throat> I snapped a bolt in one of these covers. So these are a cam cap, and this will seem like a nightmare to most people when you have this happen. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna talk about what we can do in this case, because if you back up a little bit, these cam caps are only torqued around six to eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds. So when you break one of these, it's usually not a cross threading issue because they're well lubed, and it's usually not a lot of debris. Unfortunately, it's usually human error and or tool failure. And that's where we talk about using good tools. Now, I'm gonna come back here in a second. I'm gonna show you the torque wrench that he was using and it felt good on the rest of them. We found one bad one we're gonna talk about and it's gonna blow your mind, check this out. But we really wanna make sure that we are using on these small fasteners on like six millimeter or quarter, uh, quarter inch fasteners, you wanna make sure that you're using a quarter inch drive torque wrench. If you go to, let me just have you up and have a three eighths here. If you go to a three eighths, even though the torque wrench might be able to be within this range, you have so much leverage, it's really easy to accidentally go past the click and then damage the bolt. Wait till you see this one here in a second. So I don't wanna set this on the ground. I wanna be good to your tools there. This one I'm gonna put on your mat here for a second. And what do I do with the pick right here? So this, this nightmare here, we'll go ahead and take this cap off. And if you want to get in here and you can see, you're like, oh, now I got to get, you know, easy outs. And it's just a holy hot mess. If this wasn't cross threaded, check this out. It's actually not hard to get out. Do you see how it's loose? So take yourself a little pick and just start to kind of grab a corner there. Actually, I'm gonna try and just use my finger here to get started. You can back up a little bit. There, okay. So it's just it just gotta keep working it. And as soon as I can get enough, if I can get maybe one more turn out of it, and don't force it, don't give yourself a bigger headache here. you'll find an edge there. I, I keep finding that edge. Actually, this angled one's working really nice. Okay, just keep working that around. And then I'll get to a point right here. Here we go, it's coming. Where I can get the broken one out seems like said really scary but uh actually you'd see an old thread in there so we do want to take and check the threads in here with a with a tap clean them out and we need to make sure there's any debris in there or anything else but here's what i want to do i want to go ahead i went ahead and took uh his torque wrench and I wanted to see like, do I feel like this has the capability to do this 96 inch pounds? Or I, I just want to see what it felt like. And it felt good. I didn't feel like anything is bad. And then I got to this bolt and check this out. I was like, ah, something's not right. Ah. You couldn't see my face through the mask, but I was like, I had the oh shit look in my eyes for sure, right? So I went ahead and quit and wait till you see this. It's necked and just ready to break. Isn't that crazy? 
Talk about lucky. I mean, if it came out like the other one, not the end of the world, but hey, we definitely don't want to be doing this. So let's do kind of a recap of what we can do to prevent this. So what I was saying is that, uh, let me, is that socket handy? I'm going to go ahead and just model it. Here, where we at? I want to go ahead and model torque wrench usage. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do is push down on the bolt, support my palm or whatnot, but I'm going to do something like this on these small fasteners. I will set my torque wrench on assembly. There's a pattern on this one too. I would recommend doing by hand, then I would do half torque. So if it were 96, I'd throw it at like 50 and then I go ahead and just, you know, get it set to that low number because that's where you'd start to catch a problem. If this were truly a fastener problem, you'd probably go that 50 and all the rest of them torqued, but this one's going, whoa, something isn't right. There's a, there's a chance that you'd catch it. Maybe not, but it's it's a good start. And then I would do, my, do all of them, then I'd raise it to my 96, and I want you to really look at my technique. This is the big thing. So you gotta support this so that the tool can't do this or slip or anything else. I'm gonna hold the handle exactly where I need to. And when I'm at this point, what I'm actually looking at, I'm not looking at the bolt, I'm not looking at my ham looking right here. I wanna look at the pivot point, maybe even get the camera close to here. And so what I'm looking for is that little articulation of the clicker. Like, let's go ahead and loosen this one. Ooh, boy, that one's really tight. I don't really like, to, I'm gonna switch. I really don't like to loosen a bolt. I didn't think it was that tight. Try when possible. Don't use a torque wrench to actually loosen loosen fasteners. Use ratchets. Ooh, these are way over this is way over tightened. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm actually a little concerned about this. I think there's a really good chance that might have been a 3-8 wrench or that the wrench just got... I'm going to look at the... I'll check the uh, the torque value. Yeah, maybe from our guess it's more than 96, but that... Well, let's... I'm going to go ahead and torque this to 96 and see how it feels. Once again, this is a hard thing. You know, you and I have talked about this, that feel yeah. is hard to teach. For sure, it's all experience. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me model just from beginning to end what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna go to something 50. I don't even care, it's not that important, okay? So notice I quit because I want the torque wrench to do the work. I'm gonna support this and then, okay, I'm, I'm paying attention you were doing a good job of filming, like, if you back up a little bit. Yeah. If you notice, I'm not looking here, I'm not looking here, I'm looking right here because I want to see that articulation, right? And then I'll go to the 96. There it is. You're going to edit this? Yeah. I was just thinking of, uh, the fans might be really annoying in the background. Yeah. I appreciate it, but... Okay. That felt good. I don't I don't feel like the bolt stripping. Maybe this does have a higher torque value and that's why that seam, you'll check it out. What we want to do for uh, for YouTube fans right now is just talk about uh, this really scary deal. Stuff happens, bolts still break and I have problems as well. But if it's a small torque fastener like this, especially a well lubed up one, don't start jumping into drills and taps and dies. Think of one of your best friends is gonna be little screwdrivers or little picks that you can walk it out. Another common place on, on Japanese motorcycles this happens is the clutch basket bolts under the springs. People way over torque those and break those. They're a same six by one typically. You can usually walk those out as well. Do not attempt to reuse a bolt, <laughs> just make them new. It has to be OEM too. This is a particular grade. You're not gonna to go to the hardware store and get this bolt. It's a very specific bolt. Uh, don't try and cheat in there and you'll get yourself uh, into trouble if you do. Anyway, Jeff, it was fun seeing your project in person. This is way cool. You are back to an area where you can uh, keep moving forward. 
All right, my friends. Uh, as always, make it a great day. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and keep wrenching.